All right, before we get started on today's video, I just wanted to say uh, Andy has officially edited over 50 of my videos, and I cannot thank him enough for it. Like, it's made my life so much easier. You're a terrific friend, and I cannot thank you enough for stepping in and helping me out as I could. Uh, bless you. I love you. Okay, moving on. The most important tool is respect. <laughs> Friend. Hey, how long does your ideal hug last? 38 to 45 minutes. That's really impractical. You said ideal, not realistic. Taking my brain out of my head and washing it in hot, soapy water. Have you tried putting it in rice? Okay, in a comical turn of events, I, OP of this post, have been a smartphone repair technician for five years, and I'm going to tell you that that never works. Like, ever. It might turn on again afterward, but it's never the rice that made it happen. The damage is done, and it can get worse if you don't clean the thing properly. If you drop your phone in water, open it up and clean gently with a soft bristle toothbrush and 99% isopropyl alcohol. This has been a PSA. Taking my brain out of my head and cleaning it gently with a soft bristle toothbrush and 99% isopropyl alcohol. Me reblogging from anyone I don't follow. I'm introducing diversity into the gene pool. This will make my mutuals dashes stronger and healthier. You come into my house. You treat me with respect the way I treat you. And we both enjoy each other's companies and value each other's friendship. Mwah! I love you. Ginger ale is just Sprite, but more spicy. Oh, sure. And the Sistine Chapel is just a room with some paint in it. Hey, how did ancient cultures figure out about the solstice? Like, girl, I would not notice that. Not a lot else going on back then. I trust Tumblr info more than I trust Twitter info. Hey, I heard they're making a show about a pansexual who's an introvert and an asexual who's an extrovert. Get out of town! They already made it. It's called SpongeBob. My body is not a temple. It's a thermos. For soup. Mmm. Delicious soup. I don't care about shipping, I'm an adult. I love that and I hope you're having fun, but I'm gonna go gorge myself on every silly little interaction these fake people have and live like a king. Does Pokemon Go work on the moon? If so, can I borrow a rocket, NASA? Pokemon Go doesn't even work on Earth right now, god damn! Hey listen, if you're a trans guy and you loved Mulan as a kid, congratulations. Shang successfully made a man out of you. This makes me really happy, actually. So I did a little research, and it turns out some people are still emo nowadays. Who knew? Okay, so I was at the mall eating potatoes, and in the corner of my eye, I saw what I thought was a dog. So I quickly turned my head to look, and it was a fucking printer. What? I've read, I've, I've read some weird statements, but... What did this say? Writing prompt. You actually write something instead of just reading the prompts. SHUT UP! Folks, someday you're gonna be writing, and you're gonna put something on paper and hear a voice say, I know this is what you want, but will people like it? And I'm here to tell you that that is the devil talking, and you do whatever you damn well please. If fandom has taught me anything, it also has taught me that there are at least five people in the world who will want it regardless of what it is, and they will find you. Warlock patron idea. It's literally just the DM. The DM, as a person, is your warlock's patron. Bonus points if your character knows that they're just, like, a regular person, but also somehow gives them magic powers. For any cool warlock shit, you have to appeal directly to the DM, but in character, which is unreasonably meta, but I love the idea of a warlock just being kind of like, For the love of fuck, Jeff, can I please have my spell slots back? Oh my god. Oh my god, Andy. Andy. Andy! I know what we could do! Write that down, write that down! <gasps> Yahoo Answers, how do you exist? Because if I was a simulation, then my actions would be governed by at least a rudimentary logic. And let me tell you, friend, they are fucking not. I think we, as a culture, have moved too far away from fantasy films where every plot thread is like, the dragon rider and a werewolf joined a crew of sky pirates and hit a storm of cloud eels, but luckily they were saved by a friendly pod of star whales, or whatever the fuck was going on with movies like Stardust and Time Minutes. It doesn't necessarily make a good film, but I feel like there's something deep in our lizard brains that craves stories entirely made up of weird bullshit. 
And that's why Treasure Planet is the best Disney movie ever. Hey, why my hand shaky? Your skeleton is ready to hatch. This is so fucking ominous, thank you. You know, I talk a lot of shit for someone who can't choose rude dialogue options in games because I'm scared of hurting a video game character's feelings. Writing can't be that hard. All it is is just putting words in front of each other, right? Update, the wrong words are in front of each other. This is the worst thing ever to happen. I have a mouth, and I will scream. Ah!